Hi, this is uh, Corn Cod One of Nationalist News and Notes. <clears throat> there have been recent moves by various forms of social media to exclude right wing libertarian conservative and other other ideologies unpopular with the left from social media and I think they're doing this because of the run up to the midterm elections these social media outlets like Facebook and YouTube and other platforms are uh, removing uh, dissident voices, non-leftist, non-liberal voices. And right now their chief victim, almost in a way, their social experiment is to get rid of Alex Jones and InfoWars. Now, I don't carry any water for Alex Jones or InfoWars. I watch it occasionally. I find it useful. I have my ideological disagreements with Alex Jones and InfoWars. Uh, because Mr. Jones, I think, is a, you could probably classify him as a paleo libertarian. Now, of course, a paleo libertarian is much better than a, a leftist or a liberal, but still, it's not my, uh, not my cup of tea, so to speak. Uh, so, I mean, um, yeah, his slogan, Mr. Jones's slogan is, uh, you know, in order to get rid of, you respond to 1984 with 1776. Now, my, my own slogan is, uh, you respond to 1984 with uh, Cornelio Codreanu and Jose Antonio Primo de Rivera, uh, third positionist nationalism. But be that as it may, I think Jones, in a lot of ways, does a does a good public service in that he, he does alert the common people to the threat of the new world order. And I think he sees he's been saying generous things about nationalists of various kinds on his uh, on his radio and uh, television operation. So I've. I've, I've, uh, although I may have some disagreements with Mr. Jones, I think he performs a public service. I think he's a lot more truthful and, and accurate than than the mainstream media, which mostly relies on lies and distortions. You know, since they're neo-Marxist and none of them really believe in God, you know that they, they can't be trust. They can't be trusted on any level the mainstream media. They respect neither God nor man. And I think it would be a terrible injustice to uh, to throw Alex Jones and InfoWars off off the web. And that's what they, that's their gradual objective. I don't know why someday I'm I'm going to have to do a serious study about how why the tech sector uh, became radical left. Now we know most of the corporate world in the United States has become radical left. You know, we all know about how the Ford Foundation uh, has always been a radical left-wing organization. So anybody that drives a new Ford unfortunately, is participating in uh, radical leftist politics. Because a lot of that money that goes into buying that automobile goes to the Ford Foundation. And that's just a single example. Actually, in the last 20, 15, 20 years, the American corporate world, the Fortune 500, has gone radical left. And so... Uh, you know we have to we have to we have to uh, be cautious in in dealing with the corporations. You know this isn't 1950 where 
the corporate world was in general somewhat socially conservative. That's that period is obviously over if it ever existed at all. So I think it's incumbent upon everybody that believes in free expression in this country to to fight against these uh, social media mavens in uh, in their plan to destroy basically destroy all right of center communication and thought in the United States. I mean, that's their ultimate plan. I mean, they want to turn things like uh, Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and chat and all these other all these other uh, institutions you know, into just uh, vapid left-wing sloganeering tools and you know they want people to just sit around and, and, and look at look at cute cat videos all day long they don't want any kind of serious discourse I mean uh, I'm pretty sure I've been shadow banned by certain uh, uh, by certain social media platforms you know where there used to be all sorts of activity on certain of them, and then all of a sudden it's suddenly gone down. You know, I know that they've probably subjected a lot of what I produce, because I not only produce uh, these videos on YouTube, but I, I, I also have a blog, and I, al I also have a podcast. And so... Uh, yeah, so the left is making its big push. And like I said, someday I ought to discover why these, uh, you know, these California nerds that run the social media platforms in the United States, why they're all a bunch of Bolsheviks. Uh, that, would be, that would be an interesting study about how these people... Uh, became radical left. But uh, at any rate, I think uh, I think Alex Jones uh, deserves our support at the very least for his uh, for his stand against the new world order for our president Trump and for free speech. So my my advice to the people in Silicon Valley is leave Alex Jones and InfoWars alone. This is Corncod One of Nationalist News and Notes signing off.